I'm Matthew Galgani with part two in our series on how to use chart patterns to get in early on winning stocks. In this video, we'll talk about the cup with handle, whether it's Walmart in 1980, Apple in 2004, or Green Mountain Coffee Roasters in 2009. Year after year, many of the best stocks form this pattern just before they make a major price move. The name comes from the fact that it looks like a teacup viewed from the side. Here's the cup, here's the handle. Let's go over the basic elements to look for, then see the cup with handle pattern in action. First, look for a prior uptrend of at least 30%. After the stock has made that climb, it pulls back to digest those gains. Here's the backstory. As the stock is making this nice gain, it becomes obvious to most investors. People who bought earlier are sitting on some nice profits, but many folks, mainly those who don't use charts to time their buys, will jump on the bandwagon not realizing they're buying too late. What happens next? Savvy investors who bought at the beginning of the uptrend start cashing in some profits, and it's likely the market uptrend that helped propel the stock's earlier move is now slipping into a downtrend. All of that puts selling pressure on the stock and it starts forming the left side of that cup. If the stock has the big earnings growth and other can slim traits you look for, fund managers and other institutional investors will step in to support the stock at some point. The bottom of the cup starts to form when these big investors stop selling aggressively and start buying. The depth of the cup should be around 15 to 30 percent. In a severe bear market, the decline might be 40% or more. Once a bottom has been established, the stock starts climbing higher to form the right side of the base. That's a sign institutional investors are picking up shares. Then the handle starts to form. It should form in the upper half of the cup, and the decline within the handle is typically around 10 to 12%. The handle is basically a shakeout of weaker holders. Who are those weaker holders? The folks who bought too late in the last uptrend. They took a nasty hit when the stock made this big decline. Now they're no longer worried about making a profit, they just want a smaller loss. So when the share price gets closer to the price they paid for it back here, they sell. That's what causes the handle to form. But here's the key. The volume in the handle should be light. That tells you it's just these weaker holders that are selling. The more committed investors, the fund managers and other big players who have been buying up shares as the stocks form the right side of the cup, those folks are sitting tight because they expect more profits from the stock. The total length of a cup with handle, including the handle area, should be at least seven weeks. And note that that peak in the handle is the stock's most recent area of resistance. It bumped its head there and came back down. So that's our new testing ground. If the stock can push through that on heavy volume, that's a sign of strength and could mean the stock is poised for a big run. So the ideal buy point for a cup with handle is calculated by adding 10 cents to the peak in the handle. We add 10 cents just to make sure the stock is truly breaking through that area of resistance and not just bumping its head against it. Once again, the key is volume. As the stock breaks through the ideal buy point, you want volume to be at least 40 to 50% higher than normal. That tells you institutional investors are heavily buying the stock. You want to buy as close to the ideal buy point as possible, and you can set trade triggers with your broker ahead of time to help make sure you catch those breakouts. The buying range is from the ideal buy point up to 5% above that price. Avoid buying a stock once it's climbed beyond that 5% range. Buying late makes it more likely you'll take a loss and be forced to sell if the stock pulls back a little bit after the breakout, as stocks often do. Here's another important point. Remember how we said the general market was probably falling into a downtrend at the same time the left side of the cup was starting to form? The direction of the overall market plays a big role on the breakout, too. Once the market downtrend that started over here ends and a new uptrend begins, that's usually when you see breakouts occur. Case in point, Chipotle Mexican Grill. Chipotle made a nice run in the first half of 2010. That served as the prior uptrend of at least 30%. Then in late June, the overall market began to weaken. 
The outlook in the big picture column changed from confirmed uptrend to uptrend under pressure and finally to market and correction. Around the same time, Chipotle pulled back to form this cup with handle. Look how it found support at the bottom of that cup. After dipping lower during the week, it rebounded to close at the top of its range and above the benchmark 10-week moving average line. And look at the volume. It was 115% higher for the week, a clear sign that big investors were scooping up shares. It climbed higher for a couple of weeks, then formed a handle. Volume should be light in the handle, and it certainly was for Chipotle. That told you it was those weak holders who were selling. The investors who had been scooping up shares on these earlier weeks were sitting tight. The ideal buy point was 154.53, 10 cents above the peak in the handle, the most recent area of resistance. As Chipotle approached that buy point, look how its relative strength line was already in new high ground. That's a bullish sign. It means the stock is outperforming the rest of the market. Here's the cup with handle on a daily chart. Chipotle broke past that 154.53 buy point on September 1st, 2010. Again, note the volume. It was 125% higher than normal, more than double the minimum 40 to 50% spike you look for on the day of a breakout. Here's another interesting fact. Chipotle broke out on the very day a new uptrend started, once again showing how the best stocks tend to take off as soon as a new market rally begins. After breaking out from that cup with handle, Chipotle rose 186% over the next 20 months. And here's another thing to keep in mind. If you were doing the simple weekend routine around that time, you could have found Chipotle in the IBD50 before it broke out. And note how the chart analysis alerted you to the base and the specific buy point. That's just one example of how profitable the cup with handle can be and how you'll find alerts to stocks forming that pattern in the IBD50, your weekly review, and other features. To keep improving your chart reading skills and find timely stock ideas, regularly watch the daily stock analysis and market wrap videos at investors.com slash IBDTV.